Rich with Ruby. Today I am going to be making scones, lemon curd, and Devonshire cream. So recently we had a tea party for my sister since she's getting married and I wanted you to show you how to make scones for when you have a tea party. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is combine two cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and two and a half teaspoons of baking powder in a large bowl. So let's do that. It's stuck in the rim of the bowl. It's fine. Sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Baking powder? I don't know why I'm moving it all around, but okay. And then salt. Now, now whisk it all together. Until well combined. It should only take like a few frozen butter and we're going to grate it into our mixture. It's frozen so it's easier to grate. <laughs> it's really weird. This is very time consuming. Make sure to break up that yolk and get it fully combined into the cream and vanilla. That was like a booger. Mm -hmm. Ew, boogers. Now you want to pour your mixture over your um, flour mixture until it all looks moistened. Mix that up to form the dough. Oh, I forgot the flour in my hands. I'll do that later. Okay. So now that it's all combined in doughy, I'm going to take half out of the bowl. Because I want some normal and some with mix-ins. So, this is my normal hat. Pop down there. So, my mix-in are these Nestle morsels and more. It comes with milk chocolate morsels, caramel pieces, and peanut halves. So, it will be interesting <laughs> how it's... So I got like about, I don't know, a third of a cup maybe, and just mix that in to your, to your dough. 
make sure it's fully combined. And I'm trying to make it as evenly combined as possible because I don't want one scone that has like a bunch of mix-ins and then one scone that has like one or two chocolate chips. So if your mixture is too wet, um, then add a little bit more flour. If it's too dry, um, add a little bit more cream. But I think mine is pretty good. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So now you want to make your dough into little balls. Each half into a little ball. Flatten it a little bit so it's like a disc. Now you're going to take a knife and score it into eight triangles each. Just scoring it, not cutting it all the way through. So how you make it is you cut it into fourths. And then you cut the fourths in half, and then you have eighths. Look at that. Easy. Okay, so now you want to brush it with cream once you scored it. Just a little bit of cream. Not too much, not too little, but just right. Just like that. And then this one as well. You're going to want to put these on a line baking sheet or a plate. Put these in the fridge for 15 minutes and preheat your oven to 400. So let's do that. Okay, so we've taken them out of the fridge. We've cut them apart and our oven is preheated to 400 degrees. So now we are going to put these in for 20 minutes longer if they're bigger so let's do that okay so you know what goes well with scones lemon curd so that's what we're going to be making now so what you all need is three fourths a cup of lemon juice three fourths a cup of sugar three full eggs one tablespoon of lemon zest, and then um, half a cup of butter cubed. So let's add it all into your pot or pan or pot. Don't turn the heat on yet. So keep whisking the whole entire time so that your eggs don't curdle. Because you don't want scrambled eggs.
it's time to make the Devonshire cream. The Devonshire cream is really easy and um, it pairs perfectly with the scones and lemon curd. So what you'll need is three tablespoons of powdered sugar, one cup, also known as eight ounces of sour cream, three ounces of cream cheese, and one and a half cups of um, heavy whipping cream. So first you're gonna cream your cream cheese until fluffy. Since it holds its shape, I think it's done. Okay, so now all our stuff is ready, so time to try it. So first we need our tea, because just do. Okay, so the curd is like the jam, and then like the Devonshire cream is like butter, and the scone is like bread, but like a sweet version. So first we're gonna put the lemon curd on. And then a dollop of the Devonshire cream. And now let's try it. Mm. The scones are perfect and flaky. And the Devonshire cream. cream is nice and fluffy. And then the lemon curd is nice and tart, but also a little bit sweet. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications every time I post a new video. Bye!